Tell, tell me why you came to Australia. I came to Australia because um, after I studied in university and finished all of that, um, I wanted to do something else uh, to fulfill, fulfill all my dreams that I've like, collected throughout the life I've had. And I was on my bicycle with my backpack full of like resumes and I was ready to like get on something new and I crossed the street and the car like just we ran into each other and just my, my face hit the curbstone like right I was sitting on the on the ground holding my mouth because I had the feeling all my teeth were gone. I was sure all my teeth were gone. I was I was sure of it and I was just holding my my throat because I thought it it would be somewhere and it kept like bleeding like down my my belly, like through my my, my shirt and everything, we were just sitting there like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> and then like he came up to us and saying like, well first he said two things, first he said, she came out of nowhere, like accusing me, like as if that was the first most important thing to say when you almost killed somebody, well I was killed, but anyway I could have been, and second, um, he said, are you okay, and I looked up at him and I wasn't dead, so I was like, yeah, kind of, <laughs> and then he just turned around and left. When he got back to his car, like I watched him, he like he he looked on the passenger side where I hid his car, and he looked for like um, scratches and things. So he checked his car. He was well aware of what happened. He got in his car and drove off. And I couldn't even I couldn't even get up. Like the people that also witnessed it, like they they made me like they forced me to get up. And she said, "Can I have a look at your face?" And I said, "No." <laughs> I didn't move. I was like, if I if I move this hand now, all my teeth will fall out. I was sure of it. I was so sure of it. Like all my teeth will fall out. I was like, no. <laughs> Can you please remove your hand? <laughs> and then yeah, they drove me um back home, and then somebody that was at home drove me to hospital, and then uh, yeah, I got stitched. Like my nose was probably broken. I don't even know. I couldn't use my wrist for like many days um at all. I was in a lot of pain. Um. Yeah, it was terrible. I couldn't work, and then I forced myself back to work because I needed money, and then it was stolen. I went to a little do for New Year's, <clears throat> then I came back. I had an amazing time. I came back, and everything was stolen. <laughs> I came back to my room, and it was like. You could see that somebody went through all my clothes, that's just everything, and took like, yeah, a lot of it, most of it, like I have some books left, shampoo, and some of my clothes. Wow. But if it's somebody that really needs the money, um, it's just money in the end, it's just paper, I'm, like they can keep it, but what really bothers me, I, I'd rather have like my diary back and all the pictures that I've taken yeah. in one year of traveling, it's like so irreplaceable, like, and it happened before, I don't get it, what did I do wrong, like seriously? Jeez, why, why, why would you take like half used makeup and lipstick yeah, of weird. a person? I mean, that's really that's like, crazy. yeah, it's not all the money I've saved so far for the work I've done. It was three grand in there. There, it's dry, I'm eight. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, really nasty. And I still like that was by now, maybe. Four or five months ago, I still have pain in my wrist. I still feel it. My knee when I like when I'm when I'm kneeling down on a hard surface, I can't. It just hurts. Yeah, and sometimes even when I breathe like very deeply, my my rib case cage rib cage also still hurts. It's like really not cool. Yeah, that was that. <clears throat> and then I found this job here and I got all over it, and now I'm done again. <laughs> myself in Perth because it was I was really depressed it was not cool with that accident and not having like real friends and it was just awful and I uh, I don't know like if I'm sad or angry or what I wish the person that did it or if I like want them to be happy with it because obviously they need it more than I do I don't even know what I feel about it man it's just terrible <laughs> uh.